master the in paint and out paint functions in focus to go from this image to this masterpiece. Let's go! Hi hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to use the in paint tool inside of focus. First of all, a couple of baselines and then we'll get straight to it. So we begin here by opening the input image options and the advanced options. Quick tips that I would advise you to do is number one, remove the random seed down here. Make sure it's on seed zero. That way you always work with the existing image and don't put any randomness into it. You can play around with the image number that should be created. Usually I stay between two and four. You can see the depending on your GPU, how long it takes and go from there. We're working on the speed performance here. The rest are just the general standard settings. So let's say we want to work on an image where there are two gentlemen standing in the middle, a couple of supercars behind them and a nice scenery behind. So first of all, we want to remove input image so that we just work with creating a new image. Let's go with in the center, two muscular gentlemen in suits behind them, two supercars and a nice beach house in the background. All right, let's see what kind of outputs we get from this. Here are the results. So this is a bit messed up with lag. Here there are four people. This doesn't look bad. I think we'll take this one. All right, one thing for you guys to note is you can always download the pictures up here so that you have every step of the way and can go back one step if necessary. Let's go here into input image and then select in paint. And then when you're in Google Chrome, you can just drag and drop the image to down here. Let's begin. The easiest would be to add a bit more out paint. So what this does is adding more to the image depending on the sides where we put it to. So want to add a bit more of the house on the left the bottom is fine and i will also increase this part of the car here so what we do is we select the out paint direction left and right top and bottom are fine for me so i don't need to change them we stay on in paint or out paint default that's where i have the settings here and then also one thing to make sure is that when you're using this out paint it also takes into consideration the prompt that you have up here what we change it to is instead of adding two more gentlemen we put luxury house and blue Lamborghini on beach. And let's decrease the image number to two so that it generates quicker. All right, results are in and let's have a look. Added some bushes and some palms. So we'll take this one, we remove this, download this as mentioned as part of the process. And then we go from here. One thing to note is here on the left under this information symbol, you can see the keybinds and shortcuts that I use in order to be able to edit this as easily as possible. Now make sure here to remove the outpaint directly Directions, otherwise it's gonna keep extending to the left and right based on these selections that we've made. All right, so we now have three basic options to use the in-paint model, as you can see here. First of all is the in-paint the out-paint default, which the out-paint we already used to add more to the size of the image based on what's there and based on the prompt that you put in up there. Next up is improve detail, which you can, by describing, for example, a highly detailed face, it then adds more characteristics and more outlines, more definition. It's not limited to the face, it could be also a watch or more granular detail on the concrete floor, for example. We can have a look at that in just a moment. And then finally, we also have modify content, which works similarly to this in paint default model, but this modify content adds new objects where you want it without taking into consideration the rest of the image. So it might be looking a bit out of place, and that's where you afterwards go into the in paint detail, go over that object object again and make it look more natural as if it were supposed to be there. Now working with what we have right here, I want to change the posture of these two gentlemen because I don't want them walking in any direction and looking into the camera. So what I do is add modify content. I then select with this brush tool the entire person. I give it a bit of space around so that the AI has the room to add the person in a way that works and looks congruent. We input muscular gentleman in yellow and black suit standing with hands in pockets looking towards camera also make sure since you have here your prompt this always looks at both of the prompt fields and then try to include them the easiest thing is just remove this upper prompt right here and then you only have this lower prompt for this modify content and you can click generate let's give it four variations this time 
All right, let's have a look at the examples. I like this one the most. So we'll take that again, download have the process and move it down here to continue working on it. What I want is the face to be looking towards the camera. So let's select this face, then go with in paint and describe what exactly we want. Let's say male face with sunglasses looking towards center of image. Let's move it down to two images. All right, let's see what the results are. Not really looking towards the camera so this is a case where you have to try with the different tools that you have at your disposal so maybe we should try the modify content instead put this prompt down here and try again this first one looks good so let's take that and continue on now let's change the second gentleman again really give it space for it to craft something that could work let's go with changing the prompt muscular occasion male in red suit standing with white footstands looking towards camera and increase image number looking at these images one looks pretty good two also let's go with four all right again move and put this in next thing let's have a more detailed male face so select the face and then go to improve detail and put detailed male caucasian face with mid-length beard and see through curious glasses this part is gonna be adding some things so we actually have to go for in paint here we go and click generate all right let's have a look at the results don't worry that they're a bit messed up that's usually how it goes but they give you the change and then you use improved detail let's go with this number four and then scroll on to this and input what we need go to improve detail and then say detailed male caucasian face with see-through glasses and mid-length beard let's see what we get and since this is relatively small you can't really see the imperfections this one looks the best so what would we want to change let's have a look at this car let's change the car color so we select the parts we want to change once selected we then go to in paint or paint defaults so we want to keep the same car model and not change too much about it let's make it a matte dark green ferrari and usually it's able to put out with detail what these cars look like they look pretty fantastic that's the one we'll go with okay let's change the detail of the palm tree so we select entire area and let's then prove the detail detailed palm tree with the sky and also partially through a car windshield all right looking at the results this definitely has a crispier look to it and i believe this number two works so now to show you the magic of the modify content in paint how about we add a new plane so let's give it some space and let's say in the prompt cold jet flying overhead and here are the results i think if we had this and then changed it a bit around let's go for in paint default this one actually looks better because it's a bit smaller and fits more into the picture and what we do then is select it again and give it a bit more detail let's take this prompt improve detail with blue sky i think this one looks best we can also give our house a bit of an overhaul so let's select the parts and always make sure not to select the people if you don't want them changed or anything else for that matter here I hit the car as well, so one step back and let's go more detailed like this. Also make sure to include these small areas because they might destroy the image if you don't take care of them as well. Alright, now that that's selected, let's go for in paint and change it to high class luxury state with white wood big glass windows and beach foliage. Okay, this looks pretty nice sometimes it happens like in these two images that it just removes it that's why you keep have to generate or switching between the in paint default or the modify content function i'll take this so now this is our final product and if you compare it to what we started with there's quite a big difference i hope this helped you gain a more concrete understanding of how to use the in paint out paint and the improved detail and modify content functions inside of focus thanks for listening and watching and i hope to see you very soon again